Hey guys, it's Malik. You're listening to him. We are back at you with another show, another week. I have my handsome men, my beautiful bunch with me. <laughs> okay, first off, we're going to start with not calling us a bunch. I feel like the Brady Bunch. So uh, um, I'm going to need you. Here's a story of a nigga named Malik. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Who so, was chilling with three boys of his own. Yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, 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 no? <laughs> no, no. Um but I definitely hi y'all, I missed you guys. I who's kind who's of that did. talking? I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself, girl. Oh well bitch, you know it's Trey, so keep it keep it a hundred. I said I missed y'all. Now this was a time day. Oh my god, I miss you too. <laughs> well you I'm Aaron. You. Um I'm glad to be with y'all. Um excuse me, Aaron. I know I said I missed y'all and I think Aaron, you, did you, you miss Trey? You, you missed it. I miss a lot of things. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> you know, I miss. Um, I miss that puff on Aaron's head. But now we got braids because people, I guess, wasn't speaking to him without them. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> ooh. Trace all my tweets. Yeah, I do. Oh. I be stalking. The girls don't see it for me if I don't have braids, which is trash. But you know, I fuck guess. them girls. Wow. Whatever. Yeah. No, fuck them girls. I'm you supposed anyway. to love them anyway. Fuck them girls. So, uh, okay, this introduction. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Aaron. <laughs> okay, Stevie, you was talking to much. So oh, next- hi, it's Stevie. Hi, everybody. Um, I want to start by saying I want to thank all the fans for uh, loving us and listening to us and showing us support. I don't call them fans. I call them family. Okay. Yeah. Thanks to the yeah. family for loving <laughs> us, supporting us, <laughs> listening to us every week. Um, It's so much love and support that we're getting and i honestly and i believe all of us you know collectively love the fact that you guys are showing us love and support so i want to say thank you to y'all and hey how you doing yeah yeah as Um, he says that with diva glasses on uh okay glasses all the time on deck all the time (laughs) the stun of shade blocking the haters (laughs) And uh, we have to shout out our new location. Um, we're in recording in Brooklyn today. So um, just want to say woot woot to that. Yeah. Um, new location, okay, and new wait, energy. Wait, wait. We, we, we woot woot after recording. Okay. But we're, we we're, woot woot we're recording now. now. <laughs> Cause we're in Brooklyn and we're, we're yeah, our, 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 our usual tea is usually in Manhattan. So I, know. I just want to acknowledge I that, you know, good Man- Manhattan. <laughs> you know, <Girl. laughs> but yeah, how's everybody been? What's everybody been up to? Uh, we were off last week, you know, mm. for some things. Yeah. yeah. How was those things? <laughs> those things are great. The thing, the reason that we were off because I celebrated my 27th birthday. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't feel any different. I know people say when you turn a different age, you feel different. I don't. I still feel the same. Um, it's just another year. Um, I enjoyed my birthday. Um, I we went out with my parents. Yeah. <laughs> we enjoyed it. We'll get Who's there. Who's we? Uh, me and Malik. Um, oh. And I want, but first of all, um, I want to say on the air, I want to apologize yeah. to Aaron <laughs> because I was extremely late. And I blame my cousins for that because they were my ride and they it's a whole big thing. But I apologize to you. No, because babe. I'm like, everybody's out waiting for the girl. And yeah. I'm not the, I was at my I house held them as furious. long as I could. You saw when I, Malik, you saw when I walked in, I was over it. I was like, bitch, everybody is just like waiting for me to get here. Uh, no, as long waiting as you for had a fucking fun ride. that night, then I'm yeah. 100% It was cute. Cool, like. It was cute. Um, Yeah, but I enjoyed going to like Roof Chris with my parents and my sister for lunch. Um, That was cute. And I'm just, you know, happy to be 27 oh amen yeah yeah anything going on with you Aaron? Mm, not really um it's the end of the semester you know so trying to lock down everything i need to lock down so that i uh make it out of there with no uh, failing grades um uh-huh. i keep joking on twitter everybody <laughs> every time i mention on twitter how i'm, going, I'm about to suck my professor's professor's dick <laughs> <laughs> Everybody we, on Twitter be like, "Yeah, go we for support it. you." Support, you know, I'm like, "Y'all and are that is so the problem much. with like, Twitter." <laughs> like y'all really, like literally, no one said no. Like everybody yeah. was like, "Yeah, do record it, girl. Take pictures." I was Send like, "Y'all, y'all you be a tumble of favor, girl." Like wow. so, <laughs> it just it goes to show like <laughs> type of people that follow like type of people that follow me are me. Like uh-huh. they're all your versions f- of me. So it's your like followers they live for the girls. They live for Banji set. So yeah. That's yep. it, is it my turn yeah, yeah. what's, what's, what's up yay <laughs> um so i just came back to life because um i was killed by beyonce oh <laughs> lord um i died she on a everybody. saturday night 
<laughs> and I haven't been able to really get my life back in order until like today because then I'm going to die again. So, you know, it's like a back to back set. Um, I couldn't even get my schoolwork done. <laughs> I'm like lost in class, just remembering, having visions and shit. A shamble. Um, I'm just <laughs> boom. I can just just remember the damn outfits, the yellow. Beyonce was doing her all thing. the all the black people. She looked just, good. My uncle just popped up on. He's at the he's at weekend two of Coachella, and he just popped up on Instagram with the Letterman jacket. <gasps> Oh. Bitch, can you send it to the four hundred fifty dollar one? And I'm like, I hate you because he just got his doctorate. Uh-huh. Oh, so he got that's, that's oh, wow. he's that's set up, kid. and so he's he just popped things, up with it on. And I was like, wow, like you're actual trash for like just being on my timeline with that shit on. Like, how dare you? But I, I, I'll be doing the choreography in the shower, you know. Like, just, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, I, I just Beyonce. It's crazy because it's like I really stand for an absolute icon, and it's it's oh like God, a legend. It don't make mm-hmm. no sense. Like it's just like, bro. Like out of all the people that I could have, I don't know, chosen to really devote my life to. Yeah, like, it's Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? To be She's alive at the same time that she is. Yes, that's like, all I'm thinking about. Can you imagine? Just yeah. like girl, remember when our loved. parents was alive for like Michael. Well, some of our men. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I'm alive for Beyonce. The new girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is like a blessing. Yo, could you stop? I don't. <laughs> to really, really, to really, just to see her, you know? To, um, I mean, y'all are, y'all say people, current people, but when I think of Beyonce, I think of like Duke Ellington and okay. like, you know, Billie Holiday. Like, you always try to bring girls. it back to the Harlem Renaissance. I mean, because see, I don't really, like, and, and keep me wrong, I don't really listen to Beyonce a lot. <gasps> But when I do Bless listen me. to her and my thoughts and opinions on her artistry and who she is as a person, yeah, um, it's like she's not Michael Jackson. She's like Duke Ellington. Like she's she, up there. she's that she girl. She has legendary like history, and she's definitely going. She's in the history books already. But and she's still a lot. That's the, like it's, she hasn't faded in significance. She hasn't died. Nothing like she is on top of her game and getting better every, every time. time yeah. like, and let's be clear, you're already an icon, too, like, and like, you're literally topping yourself every perfect mm-hmm. time. Every Come time. on, bro! Yeah. Like I can't stand <laughs> enough. Like I'm just, I am absolutely. I'll be honest, I'm yo, I can't. I love that woman. <laughs> So, um, you know, we had a, a, a long check in because we haven't been uh, with each other in a while. But um, moving on, um, I have a little a key. So oh. I received a message uh, last night. From where? <laughs> I was on Jack. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a sound alert so I could go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. That was the girls will go off for that. And it's so funny because you know how you do the whole tit for tat on each other's page. Mm-hmm. And then so he, the person messaged me and he said, uh, you know, that he listened to him and he likes the show and whatnot, whatnot. But um, you know, I getting into this topic, um, people message me all the time and I rarely respond back when I'm on Jack just because um, you know, I use it how I use it. But my question to you is is when you're on um certain profile, like say you're on Twitter, Facebook, anything, and someone hits hits you up in a romantic way, they slide in your DMs or whatever you want to term it, do you feel obligated to respond or are you required to respond or is send anything back is my question um, that i want to pose for today's ice okay so Girl. i'm just gonna want to say one thing <laughs> when i heard you when somebody said oh i love him all i could think of was usher's superstar playing in the background uh, yo I love and i could song. just hear i'll be your groupie baby oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that i remember and heard but um, no, you're not obligated to respond back. Um, why? I mean, like, you, you, I feel like it's just like being out in public. Mm. If somebody comes up to you, you're not obligated to respond back. Um, I may pay no you too. if I'm not feeling it. Or I'll just explain to you I'm not feeling it. And if you continue, I'll just pay you still. Like, it's just what it is. But... <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not obligated to sit there and respond to somebody just because they thought it was a, they wanted to send you something because look you'll get anything in your messages okay um it may never be a hi or a hello or a how are you doing <laughs> or any it words may just, with them, it's with never the, with that mouth for me do. it's never Baby's words it's often a picture okay. <laughs> um and it's not uh, a picture of something that like i want to see you know okay. like i like i admire a nice 
good penis. Like I do. Yeah, but new, I think yeah. that essentially I don't want to see it unless I asked for okay. it. Um and so okay. I've I shared with the guys before, like I got sent something recently and I was like You was on a tangent because I seen you talking about some things, girl. Like, why would you send this to me? Like, who thought that was okay? Like, what in your right mind thought you was just gonna like, I'm gonna give him this good old surprise? Like it was some type of present that I wanted to open. Oh mm-hmm. wait. And what about you, Stevie? How do you feel? Um, <laughs> it depends on my mood sometimes. Mm. But I like to say, like, you know, people like hit you up and say that you you have something nice about you, like your lips or something. I a uh, very quick. Thank you. I'm very very sh- thank you. And and it's some people who hit me up every day, like looking at like pictures of stories that mm-hmm. I put on Facebook or something. They be like, ooh, and I put like the little heart emoji, and I be like, thank you, <laughs> and just keep it moving. Like yeah. I don't. It's pr- people who I want to entertain, and there's people I'm not. But I like the common courtesy. Just say thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate, excuse me, that you think that I'm attractive and you think that I'm cute. Thank you. That's it. It just depends on the mood sometimes. And then he lowers his stunner shade. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, as as the as the windows roll up, roll up in the Escalade. Uh huh. And pull a Wendy Williams. Uh-huh. Hey, up. Aaron, what you what you feeling hey. like over there, Mama? Aaron's, uh-huh. Aaron's looking she at look her DMs right, right now. Uh, <laughs> what's your response? Right? Her DMs no, right okay. now. No, no, no. I um, it's like a it, twenty-five. It, my response depends on the app. If if I'm on Jax, mm. I don't. If if you just like say hey or what's up or like a, a picture, you know, and I'm not interested, then I I mean I don't feel like I'm obligated to respond. <laughs> um, I mean no, because I mean it happens to me like it goes both ways. Like if I send something to somebody and they just you know they're not feeling it, like I don't they expect you it. to be like I'm not interested, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like that test to do that every time, but I I don't yeah. usually ignore compliments if somebody opens it with right. like a hey you're handsome or hey I like your blah blah blah. Right. Then I'll say See, thank you. Mm-mm. Now if they try to turn that into like, something else, part like that, not, uh-huh. you know, I'll but that's how it, it always down. is though. You, you know. gonna get it's like somebody. The cat calling you walking down the street. Ooh, your body is fire. Yeah. I'm and then girl. it turns. Yeah. That's a compliment. <laughs> or like, <laughs> you got a pretty smile. Depends on my mood. Yes, that's no, I'll I say said, thank yo. you. And then like they try to turn, then I'll politely shut them down from there. Mm-hmm. You know, but from if. There. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's on Jack. Like, if I, you know, mm-hmm. Twitter or like Instagram or whatever, my response is, is way different. Like, if you send like emojis, like, I guess, complimentary emojis, then. I'll say I'll probably send like a blushing face back or something, mm-hmm. you know. Like my response depends on what you say. Yeah. Okay, so but most of the time I say thank you to everyone because I mean confidence. Like is you don't the, have to the get right those way to me, go. and I appreciate that. Okay, so, so I'm going to say something, and I don't want nobody to send me no messages or no Twitter or nothing. <laughs> They're going to send you the messages. Just I know. You said I can't that. wait. Um, <laughs> but I, know, I can't wait. <laughs> Aaron said something about people sending him stuff on Twitter and stuff, and I just recently saw some back and forth recently. And it was the cutest thing because the person, Aaron, it, I think the guy was just attracted to Aaron, thought Aaron was cute or something. And <laughs> wasn't, I don't want to say shooting his shot, but like walking to the uh, the free throw line. Okay. okay. Ready free, to, come on, free throw line. <laughs> ready to shoot. And you can just see Aaron just being really nice and like, oh. And then the guy was like, is trying to like push it, push it a little uh-huh. bit, but yeah. not like overly aggressive. Right. right? And. Then, like, the conversation really just ended on Aaron's part. And, like, all you can see is him putting a gift of, like, somebody shooting a basketball. Oh, and no. missing. Oh my and I literally. You put a shot of no missing? That's a key, oh, bitch. I, I he like didn't put you. it. The oh. guy did. Oh, oh. The guy. oh, shit. And I died. Mm. I honestly couldn't believe it. And I felt. I just felt it wasn't as awkward as a, it was just cute. Like I just thought yeah. it was like the cutest thing. Like it happens in life, and no it's just say. cute. I think people are the boldest when they like tweet you and not do the DM. I think DMs or the curious sneaky. cats. Or the, the curious oh is, bitch curious dude. cat is lethal. I I I um I get what I heard all of everyone's opinion and what everyone <laughs> said. Um, it I agree with Aaron when I say that it depends on what the platform is. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like if you are uh, hit me up on Instagram, generally I know you in in like some type of form of fashion. And when I when I say know you, like I know you through a friend. We've worked together. I know you from school. Like mm-hmm. if it's someone on Jacked or Grinder, mm-hmm. bitch, I don't know you from a half can of the of girls paint. behind their face anyway. 
<laughs> so with that being said, <laughs> like if we're on like a sexual app or a dating app, I don't feel like I'm required to respond. You know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not required to respond. Mm -hmm. But if you hit me up on like Twitter or Instagram, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to respond with something, you know. But at the same time, I do screen my messages. So, bitch, if you send me some foolishness via Instagram or Twitter and it's some fuck bullshit, Mom, you gonna, you screen it, girl. Mom, like, you girl, I'm not responding. Wait, sis, you got an intern screen the messages? No, like, I can just Look. read it. And, like, bitch, if it's not what it's given, uh, then I'm not going to respond. I thought you had an intern screen the messages <laughs> and I'm about to apply for a job. No, no. Yeah. But um, I wanted to say that um, but also the as as I grow as a person and since I am now attached to a platform, I am re required to respond to certain things because um, I guess someone had been hitting me up on Jack and recently just got a new weed man and basically purchased from him. And the next message was, oh, yeah, I've hit you up on Jack multiple times. And I was just like, oh, wow. And like, you know, it was just like, yeah, bitch, I've been hitting you up on Jack and your ass ain't been responding. Uh -uh. Now what, motherfucker? Like, it was less. It, it, it would have been the same like, fucking thing, bitch. Okay. And oh, I and it was. You. I was like, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> like, now you have like your purpose, bitch. like with the Jack, I think it, it's very like, um, it's very like a la carte for me. It's like I'm up here for a purpose. If you don't fulfill that purpose, then there's no need yeah. for us to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, and oh. I hate when people like message you again and, and, and like you're not interested or you could have responded or like. I don't got to tell you nothing. Exactly. Like, I'm not, you don't pay this phone bill. You didn't create this account. Nothing. So, yeah. You don't even know me. Very much that. I'm, mean, yeah. Mm. But yeah, uh, that was that therapeutic. Was, mm -hmm. That I was. Felt, bitch, I felt that. And I love sitting right next to you feeling it because, girl, that was it. Yeah. Um. But we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. Yeah. We'll be back. Hey, babies. It's Aaron, and you're listening to him. Be sure to check us out on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, and Radio Public. And head on over to our website, himpodcast.com, for blog posts and announcements. All right, guys, we're back. Um, hope you enjoyed that break. Um, we're moving into our next topic, and I'm not sure if all of you were aware, but it is a uh, sexual harassment awareness month, and um, the guys at him felt that it was important, and me, me being a part of him, felt that it was important to celebrate and highlight um sexual harassment awareness month this month because um. It's just some conversations that we need to start having. And this is the place that we are going to start having them. So, um, yeah. Okay, Let's so I'm just going to say that you did start that off like it was a, a lecture series. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Oprah. Aaron. Let's start with Aaron. Okay. Is and that this, good for you? Yeah. And this is a very sensitive topic. So, like, um, it... <laughs> With with certain topics like this, it's very hard for me to um, speak on. But the older that I get um, and just the more experience that I have with speaking and talking about certain things like this, um, I'm like no longer afraid um, and just also not afraid to say the wrong things and not afraid to speak about um, my personal journey. Um but I was recently having a conversation with a friend. I'm just going to start. Um, I was having a conversation with a friend about us having um, an episode on sexual harassment. And um, he was actually really excited. And in, in the whole process of me having the conversation, I uh, discovered that he was raped. Mm -hmm. And learning, um, I sat down and asked some questions as into, you know, what would he love to hear from a conversation that's centered around sexual harassment and what are the things that he would like to discuss and would want to hear in a conversation. And um, he, he, he explained to me, but again, um, it was the fact that I wasn't even 
<clears throat> I wasn't even aware that he was raped. Um, so for him to have that conversation and to be able to be comfortable having that conversation with me is why I want to have this conversation <laughs> because there are other people out here who have been hurt, who have been harassed, who have been sexually assaulted and we're not able to have that conversation or they're afraid to have the conversation with people and friends and family. So Aaron, do you have anything to say? Uh, whew. Um, as always, I have many varied thoughts on, I just, I need to have, I stop having so many thoughts basically. But, um, when I think about sexual assault and harassment for me, it, um, I mean, it's a very serious topic and let's see there's a recent change that i made i say recent maybe within the last like six to eight months um about how i relate with and communicate with you know men around me um i'm a out proud gay man have been for years um almost 12 years i think <laughs> and um it's a, it's been a journey but um i am known for being you know rather vulgar and uh, uh, sexually open um, on social media. And um, I had to change a few things about how I carry myself in both online and, the re- and in the real world um, because sexual harassment is, is what it boils down to is unwanted attention of a sexual nature, you know? Mm. Um, mm-hmm. It only takes one person to feel like it's unwanted and it becomes something that's negative. Uh, and walking the line between compliments and harassing someone. Um, and then in person. So it's like, I used to leer at guys, you know what I'm saying? Like I would stare at them like unabashedly, like, you know what I'm saying? Like on the train, um, uh, or just walking down the street or, you know, whatever, blah, 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 like, or in a store or, you know, whatever. Um, I go out of my way. It's like, I tell them like to their face, like, I think you're attractive, like, and be Bold. like, have an attitude where like, I would dare you to be offended by mm. such a thing. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And, um, you know, I, the young me, I masked it as, oh, you know, men objectify women all the time. So, and that was my justification. Like, I actually would say that to people. Like, that was the reason why I was so aggressive with, you know, my attentions. And that's wrong, you know? Like, that's not cool. That's not cool. It's not a good way to go about, you know, your life. And I'm, I'm really glad that I've grown up and um, stopped doing that as much. But I would still, I wouldn't do the whole aggressive, like, I think you're fine. Like, and I look at you, like, what you going, you know, whatever. But... <laughs> I still would stare at guys, you know what I'm saying? And um, I try not to do that, you know, mm-hmm. anymore. Like if I see an attractive guy, like on the train or whatever, I would look and be like, wow, he's, and then like, you know, go back. I might, I might sneak glasses at her from time to time. Yeah. You, know, so you can't stop yourself. But <laughs> outright staring at somebody, especially if they notice and like they kind of shuffle their feet or you can see they're uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you can't go about life that way. You know what I'm saying? Like making other people uncomfortable and just being satisfied or, you know, whatever. Or, oh, they're straight. So you know that they do that to other women all the time. So they, they deserve it. Like, Mm-mm. it's a terrible way to look at things. And I'm ashamed that I ever thought, you know, of the world that way. Um, but, you know, this is a place of growth and I'm growing. And so I've come a long way. And so I've decided to not do that anymore. When it comes to online, it's like pay a compliment and then then pay it. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like you don't have to pursue it beyond that. Um, I recently went off on Twitter and on the podcast itself about sending people um, nudes out of nowhere just wow. like, without any prior. That's a form of harassment. If, yes, I, don't, if I didn't it want is. that, if I didn't Amen. want that, you know what I'm saying? And some people were like, oh, send me random news, blah, blah. And I'm like, not me, man. Like, because if I didn't ask for that and I don't want that, then that's harassment. The girls be setting that up, though. And that's, that's foul. Like, don't do that to somebody. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, it, God forbid. Like, what if something, I had been through something in the past and it involved something similar to that? And, and, and what? That kinda, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be careful when it comes to that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know. My my thoughts are really just to think about what you do and what you say and how you communicate and how you relate with people. And if you see something that you might not like or something that you you know you know is not all that great, then just take a chance. Take a take a chance. Take some time to yourself. Think about it and see if you can change it and how you do it. I think that um, a lot of times it's masked as flirting mm-hmm. or. Um, the boldness is kind of like, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm trying to get to know you. And there's always a fine line between that, that, um, the, the flirting and the, um, and then the harassment. Mm. I've been sexually harassed, 
um, just growing up. Um, I lived in Baltimore. I know everyone knows that for school. Um, and I lived in an apartment. I had roommates and stuff. And Malik knows I had this one roommate who was just, um, while for me, it came, it went from small flirting that wasn't really like the most annoying thing. I wasn't attracted to him. So I was like, I really don't care. Like you just think I'm popping. So I'm cute. I know it. Come on. But then it got to a point where it was like, I had to, I started checking dude, like, First of all, cool. we're not, th- cool. you can't talk to me certain types of, like, I have an issue with, one, the way your language is, one, I'm not into you, mm-hmm. two, you need to realize that, one, you're, you're coming off as a creep, you're coming off as someone that is thirsty, as someone that is not able to communicate with them, communicate properly, right? and it wasn't pushed off. But it wasn't stopped. Hmm. So then I took it upon myself. Was I already knew I was leaving Baltimore. I was already moving to New York. So I wasn't having any ties there that kept me scared to, to move on. Or, or But I stopped being around this person. Like I had to, to schedule certain shit. Like when do you cook for dinner? Make sure it's right at a certain time. Or um, when do you wash your clothes? Certain time. When can you have your friends? Certain time. Just because... That harassment never ended. Right. And I think people are often n- don't even get a chance to get away. And they're not able to tell that harasser, hey, what you think is flirting isn't flirting. What you think is just a, a um, way to kind of get my attention isn't doing that. You're getting the wrong type of attention, the type of attention that makes a 911 call very capable of happening like i need i think people aren't able to do it and i think because there is such a fine line between um harassment and just openly trying to communicate or or just tell somebody that they're attractive or approach somebody that we have to realize that just because for you it feels like, oh, I'm just telling them that they're giving them a compliment. I'm telling them that they're attractive. For somebody else, it can just seem like it, it can be triggering. Yeah, I think that one thing that <clears throat> I mean, I've been I've been sexually harassed and assaulted before. And um one thing that really like struck me um was when you said that like you literally start basing your life around the harassing and like the assaulting and so it literally becomes like i often speak about just feeling so claustrophobic in this body of mine and i think that when i was being harassed i was like literally not able to use the space that i have as like a human being and not being able to go certain spaces places at a certain time or not wanting to come home um, because like a lot of my harassers have been at home you know so it it has been places or times where I am not able to come home because said person is at home or I'm not able to do this because said person is around so um, I just what I what I want to people to understand is that um you know, being sexually harassed or assaulted, it's a very like claustrophobic life. Mm. Keep in mind that you're not able, really able to speak about your experience because either A, people don't believe you or people just think you're crazy. Like when you tell people that you're being um, sexually harassed or assaulted, like people really think that you have created this, uh, this fabrication and it needs to not be that way. Like if I come to you and tell you this is my story or this is what happened to me, you have to honor that and, 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 and move on. Don't try to sit up here and like poke holes through my story. You know, I'm glad that, you know, there's, you know, there's been this recent crackdown on, uh, you know, sexual assault and harassment in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that makes me happy because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of an example to the rest of the world, you know, like this is not a thing that you can get away with anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, also I, we need to get away from the idea that these sorts of things can't happen in relationships. Mm. Um, I saw a tweet 
on Twitter the other day and they were talking about, you know, I think this, this woman said something along the lines of like, if you're married, like, you know, you can still say no to your like husband mm-hmm. if you don't want. And like, there were lots oh, yeah. of guys like in the comments saying like, no, like when she said I do, she relinquished all control. Like if I want to take ass it because she's mine and blah, blah, blah. And I was like this whole like this attitude of ownership and even thinking back, it never came to like a head. So I didn't, it, it's not something that came to my mind like immediately, but I was in a relationship with this guy and um, he, we, we had like fought or about something or whatever. And, um, he told me that, you know, like I could never, he basically told me that like I could never turn him down. Like whenever he wanted to have sex, like no was not an option for an answer. And I remember we argued about that and like, and I was, I was over it. Um, it never came to that, you know, I was about to say, so where he at? Pull up. it never came yeah. to that. So like, it, Girl. it's not something that immediately stands out of me when I think about it. Yes. Yeah, like, but he thought of me as his, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I was, you know, it's like I belong to, and it's like that attitude in relationships is so damaging. Yeah. And I know that it seems so fun and cute. Like, Oh, he, I be- he belongs to me. Like blah, blah, blah. And That's you want to everything. feel like you mm-hmm. belong to someone, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I get that on a certain, but like that can turn sour so quickly. Mm-hmm. Um, especially if you're dealing with somebody who has a volatile type personality or attitude, which is also what people tend to go for in relationships. Right. They want someone who's quote unquote crazy. And it's like, you combine those two elements, you're working with something real dangerous. Ain't nobody got time for that. So you, and I, I say this all the time, like people are not possessions. They're not necklaces or, or your favorite t-shirt. They're people with their own thoughts and feelings mm-hmm. and worldview. And you need to treat them with that respect. And that goes into just don't touch somebody without consent. Even when it comes to hugs, people say, like, I was one of those kids who say, I'm a hugger. Yeah. And so, like, you don't extend your me. hand <laughs> and I'd be like, me. no, I'm a hugger. And so I would hug. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, and now thinking back, and I'm like, I'm like horrified. Yeah, I'm like, bro, something. like, I was hugging people. Probably they did not want they to touch you an invitation they were, you know, to the like, hug. Oh my god, you know <laughs> what I mean? Invite so, only, and it's crazy. So like nowadays, you know, I don't hug unless they go for a hug first. If if anything, I send it or or I give mm-hmm. you like a, a fist to bump, Pound. you know, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. If Dog you initiate pal. something more, then I'll go for it. But you know, there's just a lot of things that I do differently now. And looking back, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty. Yeah. But, um, if there's anybody who you know is younger or maybe hasn't found themselves in as much situations, like just be respectful of people. Don't touch somebody without their consent. Yeah, at all. Oh my God! In gay clubs, baby, the hands be free. Lord Jesus, you know you get and groped then, like just walking through a crowd. Yeah. It's like people that's think it's okay just because of the that's fact why that I it's not dark in the middle of dance. And you know no whatever. More. And recent, and again, it's crazy because it can be as recent as like last year. I was doing the same thing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's crazy because it's like, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm out here. It's dark. You know what I'm saying? These niggas is fine. I'm a little drunk. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. it's like, and I justify. Let it. me get my, a feel. I justify it to myself. You know, and Yo. like. It's good. That's what, I mean, like my enlightenment really continues. Like I just continue to grow uh, and I continue to change and see things differently. And it's like, <laughs> man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> so just respect people. Yo. Yeah. Oh wow. And I just want to bring it to. I know we're talking as gay men, but I'm thinking about trans women. Oh yeah. god. I think that for them it's even harder. harder. Mm-hmm. And I I I often just shed a tear just because. I think that there's we we can have this conversation mm-hmm. and they're not they're not able to yeah. because no one wants to hear it mm-hmm. no one cares enough to hear it and um and the, for me that's one thing that I'm like I, I'm like thinking of this just hearing this and just and and I mean what what really gets me when it comes to like uh trans women and trans men of color is just like yo not only do they receive um just harassment and just on a day to day just bullshit from like the 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 heterosexual world but they receive like bullshit from the gay community as Mm -hmm. well and it's just like we literally like have to stop bashing our brothers and sisters out there Mm. like it it because first of all they're already being targeted yeah by the outside community so it's just like if we're not protecting our brothers and sisters the way that we should then it's 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 just like not good and it's not it's not going to help us uh further further our cause or, or progress our cause either so um i don't know like with the um 
the with the hookup culture running as rampant as it is, one Amen. thing that I I try to step outside of is just who I am as in person and understanding that because we have like a lot of broken souls out there. Come like, on. And when I meet when I meet men and just whether it's like romantically or whether it's on the train or at school and I sit down and have these conversations we are broken and it is time to sit down and have conversations to heal. Mm -hmm. And I just think that we're all on these sites and we're all, you know, just exchanging hurt and pain around. We're just, we're literally just moving it around and we're not taking care of ourselves. And it's just like, when are we going to start? And I hate to get on like my soapbox and soapbox and preach, but no, baby, this is think? exactly what it's given. And like, you know, I think about like the experience that I've had and then I come into contact with other people who share the same experiences or have an experience that's, you know, technically worse than mine, yeah. you know, in, 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 in my brain. And it's just like, how did how did all of this happen? You know, like and, and, and it's not being talked about. Like, how does this this shit happen on an on a case on an everyday basis mm -hmm. and nobody's doing anything about it? Mm. I think uh, to, oh, just yeah, to, to even like try and answer the question, um, I for me, I think the reason why it, it, it's an everyday basis of just passing around hurt is just because it's easier once you're already in that that space, it's easier to just move around in there, mm -hmm. just move around in your filth. Like just keep going. if you can't smell your room and you you move around like shit, okay? come on you now, shit, you can you can just. <laughs> Move around in that yeah. shit forever right. until somebody walk up in there and like, bitch, you you know this yeah, okay. this isn't cool. This isn't cute, right? Yeah. And like so that. you gotta. This is why I'm such a big advocate for therapy and 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 oh yes, and just just self care in general. Mm -hmm. Um, is because until you have somebody else somewhat telling you, mm. hey baby, your shit smells. <laughs> um. <laughs> You can't see it. And then you continue to just pass that shit all around to your friends, to your family, to your loved ones. And some people aren't able to defend themselves. No, they're not. Because they're new to the situation. Mm -hmm. um, and so they get trapped in something that they believe is normal, mm -hmm. that they believe is is somewhat comfortable at that moment. Mm -hmm. I, I take what Aaron is, has said about the ownership part. I just think that a lot of people are like, well, if you dating me, you my man. You this. You can't be talking to such and such. You can't be doing such and such. Don't do me like you that. You can't do this. You can't do that. And again, mm -hmm. that may be your partner, but that's not your possession. Or your property. And, and, or your property. Yes. And we are no longer three fifths of a person. Okay, baby. come on. Okay. <laughs> we, so we've been socialized as a community to either bury our troubles in someone else well, or bring them to, out. Uh, yeah, cover them up. You know, put them under the rug. And if 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 you find yourself in a situation as terrible as this, you know, you've been harassed. You've been, God forbid, you've been assaulted. Um, you know the instincts already in a situation like that are mm. to cover it up, to not talk about it, mm -hmm. you know, because you're ashamed, you're embarrassed, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you already have those instincts and it's difficult to fight those because we're in a society that says, don't talk about don't it. Don't say anything. Yeah. You know, and then, or if you have hurt, just, you know, jump into something with somebody else and they'll make you feel better. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? And there's never any actual healing that happens. So, I don't mean like dismantling that kind of thing. I mean, like that's, that's been in place for ever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, how, where do we even start? I think we got to start with, I think we have this platform. I think yeah, yeah. this is where we start. Here we are. Right? Point A. Okay. Point A, him. Yeah. Right here. The girl. Is, <laughs> the, is girls. Where, the girls. <laughs> is where we're starting. And I think that um, if we just continue to just bring the, the light in, um, it, it it takes it, it gets people out of the shadows yeah, yeah. And, and and blinded with whatever shit's going on to see now look what I, just like you were saying i was in the club touching on people and oh, i man. i thought we was we was all good <laughs> Let me check my shit. or 
I thought or, it was politically correct then. Yeah. <laughs> or I, I did. Just, or I just I saw me a fine on the street. I, and I, I was just staring. I, I, I a up. microwaved mess. That's what Come on. And <laughs> then you failed to then you start to realize. I think Yeah, no, wait, you don't know better until you, you know do, better, bitch. No shame. You know better, you do better. Yeah. And so with that, I think that we it's a it's a it's a learning process. I think life we're quick. I'm quick. I gotta be set to be I'm quick to cancel, bitch. Right? Uh-huh. I, I, I cancel. She's canceled. She's canceled. She's canceled. I just I'm quick. Cut a nigga. Off. Okay, so, no. Yeah. But okay. I saw a video of this woman <laughs> yeah, um, pulling. It, it, she was in London. She was pulling a um one of those um I forget what they're called, but pulling the line across and was like, no, you canceled. Oh, you dismissed. No. Oh my god, <laughs> I died. But I think. We got to learn to maybe start not canceling people out so quickly because mm, while, while, look, while you can't, while, while we are canceled, we, you got to cancel some people, right? But think about this. What if we canceled Aaron? No shade. We're not canceling because you, girl. You're around you know, forever. Yeah. But now I agree because it's like you know I what I'm saying. Brotherless, like if no, you can't because him back because he to the nigga I was oh, yeah. even even two weeks ago. Right. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the nigga I was like five months ago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's not even think about the nigga I was three, four years ago. Jesus. Or yesterday. Okay. If, if, niggas yes, no. if niggas would have canceled me, you know what I'm saying? I like, would have him sitting next to me all the time. If my friends, the people that I surround myself with, if they would have canceled me, like before I had a chance to get to know them and then see in them what I should be seeing in my own self. Come on. If I hadn't had that chance, who would I be? Yeah. Shit, so, I wouldn't be able to see this damn Nefertiti bun on his yeah. head every day. day. So... <laughs> There is definitely merit to what Trey is saying. Uh, you know, we shouldn't be so quick. I think there is, there should be, you know, a time where, like, you know, it it's it's circumstance by circumstance. But mm-hmm. we should take time to teach people and be like, hey, bro, maybe not that. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that sweet. That ain't what you're supposed to be. You know, about. but like in extreme cases, of course, like you know, cut niggas off with with like safety scissors and construction paper. Do what you got to do, but. You know, in some situations, it would be better because I mean, like, if if people hadn't taken a chance on me, I wouldn't be where I am now. This is so. I'm not trying to um, inflame the conversation anymore, oh, but oh man, one thing that I do want to say that we need to stop doing in the community is when it in regards to like harassment and sexual assault. I feel as though that they're we kind of like protect the person, um, not the victim, but the the harasser. The person who's out here harassing and like mm-hmm. raping and assaulting we people. We try to find reasons that the victims like, oh, Why you, know, they you doing deserved it? it or no. Oh girl, just last week you was talking about all this sex stuff and now it happens and you can't no. you know blah blah blah. Baby, like, don't do that. Or or even the case that you flirted with him. One good time. You victim blame. Girl. You you I you mean, gave you looked at like him. yeah, and it's and I mean having spent in the mil even in the military like bruh, it's like I can imagine whenever someone would say something, it was like automatically everyone would like oh you did a you deserved it or oh like you you initiated it and you just couldn't you know hang blah blah and they it gets to the point where you we've had people like have to switch commands they have to like completely go to a different duty station because their reputation is ruined just because they reported someone Mm -hmm. doing something to them you know what i'm saying how crazy that is and especially in my department it was like the people that did things that were heinous they just got moved to a different place in the department no punishment at all oh no see sometimes they end up in a better place than they were before i ain't going there that's not it and it went all the way up to the higher ranks no man it's crazy and and just you know um before we move on, I just want to say that again, like, you know, we we don't want to blame the victim. No. Um, we want to make spaces and um, provide time for um, anyone who's been har- harassed or assaulted to um, share um, their 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 experience and not be ashamed of their experience because it it it's something that that has happened. Yeah. Um and if you need anyone to talk to, like we spoke about suicide last week and, um, you know, we're speaking about sexual harassment this week. And if you need um, to speak to any one of us, we're always available and only one message away. Yeah. Um, and yeah, because uh, we randomly got into suicide like 
so that was so random how we mm-hmm. got there but we got there and mm-hmm. this conversation was obviously planned but um definitely if you ever need to speak about anything that you're going through we're always here to to help out hell we might be going through the same thing as well you never know hit me up yeah yeah mm-hmm. um and, and also i'm just saying go to the website there's also other resources please. there show love to our website lord that, was that a plug no, that I'm was a plug baby plug it away yeah. but um <sighs> Just because I know that some people don't always want to reach out because oh yeah. yeah they see you as somebody like oh I don't want to tell them the public figure mm-hmm. I don't <laughs> okay Mariah yeah they look uh, but like I mean girl they, 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 if you got time you honey got like time. if you, and, and, and you did I can Bring tell you the some noise. of my teeth want, honey you be gagging we're here so, to help you guys no honestly. like but I understand what you're but, saying like but yes. That's all I was saying. Yeah, yeah. So um, are we moving on to the listener question that you have? Yes, Thank sis. You. Yeah. I feel like strawberry, like these are strawberry lettuce. Come on, strawberry lettuce. <laughs> I miss. I miss strawberry I lettuce. Do. Are they? Do they still read them things? I don't, I don't know, know, girl. We gotta look it up. Oh, we gotta look I, don't, I don't listen to Steve Harvey. No more. I love Steve Harvey. Go ahead. Oh, okay. That was like a really romantic Sorry, no, Steve no, Harvey. no, sorry. Not like that. <laughs> Steve Harvey, you just dope. It was like, <laughs> Steve Harvey. No. Okay. <laughs> Here's our question. Okay. Um, so the question is this. If your friend was cheating on their man and you know, would you say something to them to the or to their man or just mind your business? So essentially, right, you want your friend to do right. Absolutely. You look, but they also you see them doing wrong. Do you tell your friend, "Bitch, you wrong"? You tell they, they man, or do you just sit your ass down and, and keep your mouth shut? I'm gonna start with Stevie since he was very yeah, animate. He yeah, him, I'm anime. I'm he that girl. Hands, bitch. I'm giving hands. <laughs> I'm checking both them bitches. I am that girl that's checking them both, and I would expect them to check my ass too. You understand what I'm saying? If y'all bitches, because eventually the story's gonna get back to you when they find out anyway, and your friend's gonna look for help from you. No shit. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to be that person. Be like, but then again, it depends on how tough the situation is if your friend is comfortable with being like that and you already gave that bitch the word like girl you need to step back and she's still digging in that dirt let that bitch dig in that dirt but i don't want you to keep coming to me when i've already given you the bitch you need to stop both of y'all need to stop you need to stop cheating on my friend and friend you need to open your eyes to what's real <laughs> honestly but I'm no just... your friend your friend is the one that's cheating oh we said the friend that's cheating oh, but bitch okay, open your eyes too it goes for both of them because no, no. listen so you have so a table turn the advice stands for anybody. everybody oh. it co- it's, it's full circle Wait, get your pause, life what's, I thought, up? what's the question because that's I thought, I thought the question was the, question the man was cheating on the if friend your friend if your friend is cheating on do you confront your friend i'm confronting my friend confront, boom do you tell their man or do you just sit your I'm ass te- down? I'm oh telling my, my friend. God. It's messy, but I'm telling my friend, bitch, get your life together. And I'm telling the man to, boom, Misty. stop it. Leave it alone, girl. <laughs> it's not a place. Okay. Aaron, go it's ahead. Messy. Go ahead, sis. Go ahead. Look. <laughs> oh, it's no shade. I don't know. Okay, so he going to sit his ass down. Girl, she going to sit down. Man. No, it. De- I think it, de- it depends. Oh, my God. I don't. I said that it depends on the situation. Oh, I plead the fifth. I don't have time for this question. Come on. Well, to do this to me. if if this is my home girl, um, and this is like my best friend. Well, and first like, off, he he pulled the bag out. A little, <laughs> she pulled out the clutch. You know, know, um, yo, no, if this is like you know, let's say we like thirty seven, and she's married. Thirty seven. Yeah, she's married, and like we're and she's cheating. I'm gonna have a conversation with her about her infidelity, but I'm not gonna have a separate conversation with her husband like that's not any of my business like and even if it was her her boyfriend like i'm not about to sit up here and that's not my place like at all so no like, i wouldn't if it was mm-mm. my friend i'd be like hey girl what's uh what you doing what's going what? on here and they're like i'm doing this and i'm like okay girl, i mean i just you know calm as that I bitch mean, it's probably uh-uh. not a good idea babe but the, it, like mm-mm, i don't know i don't like i think i would be like hey girl bloopity bloop yeah but <laughs> I don't think I would push it, and that's the. I think it, 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 that's where it gets murky because it's like, I don't think I would be like, now nah, I see you doing it again, girl. You you fucking. I'm gonna tell. Oh, you know what I'm saying. I I don't think. I think I would just be like, hey, what if your friend okay. did that to you though? So for me, Ugh. I ain't telling nobody, man. That's due to the I'm fact, saying. yeah, due to the fact that first. No, off, I'm not doing that either. 
they not my man. I guess I'm I that girl. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm going to say something to my friend, but hey, bro. What's what I'm going to say is, though, <laughs> <clears throat> sometimes your friend already knows what they're doing ain't right. And you ain't going to change their mind just because you they friend and you're going to tell their ass, okay. baby, you you know cheating is wrong. Like, we right. all know cheating is wrong. Right. They still doing that shit. So for me, I would either, if we're real close friends, like you my sister, like... Girl, I just I want you to rethink the steps and the journey that you're on right now. Mm-hmm. Um, it's up to you. It's your choice. And if you're going to continue down this path, I'm sitting my ass down and far enough. I'm still going to be there for you, but I'm sitting far enough away that I'm going to. No. I told your ass, yo, these are the consequences of what is going to happen. Be ready to happen. And be when ready. they do happen, I'm going to be there to say. Sis, look, yo, I understand you. I feel you. But we, we talked about this. Baby. I'm going to switch up the scenario because this is not gay enough for me. So the Girl. scenario is, is that one of them is your, well, you know how like in the gay scene, everybody like, you know, they're, we're so close. So the like mamas. basically <laughs> both of these is your, your best friends and your best friends. Like one of them is cheating on the their their friend. partner yeah. and both of them are your best friends. So like, girl, what the fuck that's is you doing now? What is you giving? So bitch, no. and bring it full what circle. It is, is... Y'all bitches doing wrong things. Now that's uh-uh. that's when I'm gonna be like, now girl, we might have to have a house meeting. Mama, you know, our legs and uh-uh. look. Uh-uh. Because you know what? I always think about it. You know, I'm a pop culture junkie. <laughs> Yo, I always think about it like Real Housewives of New York. Oh, Bethany telling Luann, Come right? On. <laughs> That Tom is cheating on her. Yes. Mood. Luann tried to almost kill Bethany. I can't. And then, during her, before her wedding, Bethany is crying in tears. Like, I don't want you to get married. This is not good for you. He's not good for you. Da, 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 da. He's cheating on you. Yeah. And the bitch was like, I'm getting married. And then two months later, she's she not married. Because she's a cheater. Okay. <laughs> so, I think it. People want to know, and people will be. We, we say that now, like, oh, we'll tell, or oh, we'll sit down and not say nothing. But Shit. honestly, until we get there, I honestly, I'm gonna be real, a hundred percent, and say I really don't know what I would do. I wouldn't sit down and be like, have a kumbaya, a lemon squeeze. No, because I just don't want that shit I'm in my front ha- door. I'm not doing bitch. that because when it's over, then it's gonna come to me. Then it's gonna come to me, like, bitch, why are you in our brand? Why are you in our in our um business? Like if they if that's what they want to do if that's what what they felt was comfortable in their relationship, I should not put who I am and bring myself and put my throw myself in the middle of their relationship Mm-mm. because guess what, it's a relationship is for two people. It's not a it's it's not like y'all okay. in a house living together as a as a thruple. Even though some of them do be <laughs> some okay, of them be living not a together. <laughs> a thruple. Dang. What Malik said is not the actual listener question, so I'm paying it. Oh look! Girl, yeah, don't be that girl. You ah! know what? She want to pay the question, girl. I answered the original question. Okay, look, wait, and that is given. what it, you're right. And you said what you That's said. That's what it gave. You I know said what, what I said. said. Malik's okay. version of the question. I'm not answering that. Uh-huh. <laughs> right? Because look, okay. I, that some real shit right, that happened. Girl, I'm not answering that. Oh, okay, so bitch. Girl, so she want to step on the soil. Since you pay Malik, yeah. His question. Um, we all know what motherfucking time it is. Yeah. And we all know what I said and what I want. So if I start picking on bitches. I want to hear y'all jams of the motherfucking week. Oh, okay, it's that time, on, girl. Okay, okay. Of the week. Girl. I'm going with Malik since he got his hand yeah, out. Like, girl. bitch, get it together, you know. Then. Like, run it, okay, run it, mama. Run that shit, damn bitch. Yeah. What's your jam? <laughs> Keep it quick. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was yeah. in the mirror the other day and I realized how bad G I am, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <And> I <laughs> love you. Can I have my question? Ahead, get my, your jam. My, my jam. My yeah. jam of the week is um, no contest by. Tanache, bitch, you've been talking about that from her life. new her new album, and I haven't heard the album in its well, entirety. Well, bitch, what the fuck was you doing? But it's a cute little song, <laughs> and um, I really and I want her, I want little, the best for her, but I really don't. I think just want the her to win. I love Tanache, <laughs> Tanache, I love you. I want the best for her, but I, I don't the think the, okay. the best is the coming. Best. So no. I got some shade for that, just because I like Tanache, right? Right. But I also am like not a fan. Of, I'm just not a fan of, um, just 
the the lackluster of the music. I'm sorry, like no shade. I'm like weak. it's like you get all the RCA demos and you're like, give them to Tanache. Nobody oh. else. Oh wants my god, poor Tanache. Right, and it's like, and then Tanache just sitting there bop bop bopping, oh, and yeah. she's like, no oh, bitch, come on, listen to me. And I'm like, well, Tanache, bitch, you had super love. Yeah, like that shit was popping. Could have ran with that. I could have. But anyway, I digress. That's not my jam of the week. Stevie, what's yours? Oh, I thought mine should be last because it's sad. But Bitch, anyway. no, um, no. It's okay. Um, my jam of the week is uh, Fifi Domson's Everything. Um, I honestly was listening to that song the other day. And I like always get into a mood of who I want as, a, I guess, a husband, a boyfriend or something. And I want them to quote unquote kind of be the everything. I'm very weird when it comes to music sometimes because I shouldn't even be thinking about a husband right now because I don't even have myself Aww. together. But the song is really, really good. Um, I always run to it. It also always comes on at the most random times. Like it, I could just put, like do a shuffle and it'll come on. But yeah, Fifi Domson definitely did her thing on that um, everything Took me song. back to middle school. Yeah. Fifi. And the fucking whole video was like shot in high school and shit. Yeah. Okay, Stevie, it's your. I mean, not Stevie. I did uh, my part. Uh, Damn, uh, girl. Aaron, you to do it's your song? turn. <laughs> Aaron, it's and you. And bitch, if you take mine, I swear to God. My song of the week is No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. <gasps> this bitch. Yes! Um, First of all, so that means I get two this week. What? Because you stole mine. Girl, what? Girl, anyway, go ahead, Aaron. I, I really love the song. She just released it uh, on Friday, and it was amazing. Um, Get into I those background it. vocals. The more that I, the more I play it, the more I love it. Uh, it's really boppy. I just be like, I'll be on the train, like mm-hmm. getting it. Um, so I'm really happy, and I'm I'm excited for her album that's coming out soonish. I think. What is that? I don't know when it's coming out. Yeah, but yeah, it's you know, release date. Yeah, and uh, oh, no release date. Okay, well, I'm really excited for her album whenever it comes. And uh, yeah, that's my jam. She was giving me Khaleesi realness. Khalees with that good oh, yeah, silver white yeah. yeah. baby. Shout out to that ponytail, honey. That ponytail. That's, I that's live infamous for a ponytail. ponytail. Yeah. Even though everybody talks shit about it. I have no issues with her in this ponytail that everybody else keeps complaining keep about. about it, yeah. Only because it's very versatile. Like she could wear high, she could wear low. low. Yeah. She, she could wear she in wore. the middle. She's Ariana Grande. With the hair flowing in the back. She yeah. could wear the hair flowing in the front with a Maybe. ponytail in the, the center. Side. She could do everything. And it keep her half and half. And I mean, I'd rather have a damn ponytail than her not being able to sing. So Anyway, yeah. my song is Chung Motherfucking Lee. By Nikki. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Chung Lee. Now, I ain't going to spit a little 16 for you. Don't I'm not going to do it because copyright infringement. <laughs> and you don't hurt the girls. And universe. And Universal may sue my ass if I spit the hot Don't 16. Don't spit it. Don't cry, do it. Okay? Just shout out to Nikki. But I'm real sad. I've been on Bitch You Been okay. Gone. Okay? <laughs> So let me God, just say, bitch. Um, no, I just <laughs> Chung motherfucking Lee. Lee. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I already have the video in your that mind. I want a in my head. Uh-huh. Bitch, she can give me an animation video. I'll take it. As Chung Lee, like Britney did for Break the Ice. I want oh, yeah. one of the like. Give me. I can see it already. I'm ready. I'm ready. I just okay. really want her to be in a Chung Lee outfit though. But I'm just, the song. I what it that. reminds me of is. <laughs> A real old school, not old school, but like it's unique to the point where it's not, it, it's off. Like yeah. the beat is a little off. And it reminds me of like. But the beat is also very nostalgic. I know, very, it's nostalgic. Yeah. That's uh, what, it's, what I like about it. I can see Jada Kiss rapping. Yeah, on. like it's so or, I yeah. see Noriega living up for mm, it. And I'm just remix living that. for everybody that's living up for it. But the greats that are like, yo, I want to hop on this beat. Get like it. I heard Lady Luck do her little whatever mm-hmm. remix. I just hearing people do <laughs> Lady shit. Luck. I la- look, I <laughs> laugh at everybody. I listen. I am Bye. a female rap. Per- I love female rap. You know, I listen to all my bitches. I ain't messing with y'all up here. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh. But that is my jam of the week. And like I always do when I always motherfucking close up the show. Well, hold on. Let me Wait a minute. Ju- Wait a minute. <laughs> Aaron just gave the, the, the dad, when you know when your dad is outside ready to pick you up, like, <laughs> nigga, let's the fuck go. I'm I waiting. Don't, here's it. Aaron cannot speak because most of the time is spent listening to Aaron and him talking. Oh, so, oh like Lord I Jesus. Said, sip her smoothie. Sip your smoothie, Look, sis. I, I see says, you. I <laughs> says it's time to go. Oh. Okay. And now, Ooh. like I say, Catch us every motherfucking Wednesday. Every motherfucking Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> that that you was heard my, uh, that was my doo pop. Okay. Okay. Never that though. <laughs> okay. 
And we love y'all and never stop believing and loving yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. What? Did you not like that? Bye. (laughs) Yeah, baby. Bye, y'all.